What a stupid question. Oh, fuck. She's Please dead. Please take a seat and be quiet, Mr. Pierce. I'll be with you in a moment. Stop whatever the hell you're doing and turn around now. Oh my fucking god, she's dead. Oh, oh shit. No! You son of a bitch! What did you do to her? I wish I could have done more experiments on you, Mr. Pierce. <laughs> I said, what did you do to her? You shouldn't be sorry for your friend. You should envy her. Murderer! This madness must stop! Do it! <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Who the fuck was that? Was that cat? Holden? I don't think so. I don't think it's his wife. I think it's... Oh, she's dead. She's fucking dead. Oh, shit. Um... Give her a kiss or something. I always loved you. Oh, shit. I'm not entirely... Certain on what the plot is or the storyline, but you know, um, there was a murder at a mansion. We went to investigate it, and yeah, my mate, <laughs> my mind has gone blurry from there. But it is a good game so far. Oh fuck no! I don't want to do this again. Please, say like, this, this. If I go through that door, something's gonna fucking scare me. Before I go, let's read what's on this whiteboard or something. I don't know. Chalkboard. Oh, there's nothing. Fuck. We've got to go through here. I don't like this. Excuse me. I don't like this, I don't like this, I don't like this, I don't like this, I don't like this. Ah, uh, I'm shivering. Oh my gosh.
gave him the gold and I, the Azure, I don't see him very often anymore. The green is stronger. Are you feeling ill? I'm here, but no. No. Let's get you out of here. He comes in my dreams. Our minds melt like colors on a palette. Come with me. It's is of the oldest green. A violent living, vibrant. A sea green, maybe. No. No. Mrs. Hawkins, we must go before someone finds out. Oh, but he will. He always knows these things when it's about me. The fuck is she talking about? What is this? You're not exactly a prisoner. I met you. What? Oh, these things basically talk about the skill of... What? Well, basically the skills I have. Oh, I cannot choose that? Shit. What is this then? The same color. It was not as vivid as you said. A pale copy. A discarded spawn. Do you know what it was? Tell me. I can't. We should not call his name. Terrible. Terrible consequences. All right. Come with me. He will know. He will find us. One more. I swear if you don't follow us. Have I seen you before? Can you walk? Maybe. Then let's go before your husband finds us. After you. He's in your studio. What? You painted me. That's where you saw me. Of course. The men in white are coming. Honestly, I don't remember her. And the guards. This way. Follow me. Okay. You first. After you. Oh, you bitch. How fucking dare you. What the? Oh, no. Run, 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 bitch, get the fuck out of my way, get out of my way, push her, <laughs> imagine, I'm just trying to get out of her way and I push her on the decaying one. The gas. Yes, it's not good for living beings. We don't have time for that. I am not moving until the wrong is set right. Damn it. <laughs> the fuck is all of this stuff? I'd be better off finding a tool. Oh, of course, we have to find a tool, don't we? Four hands are better than one. I mean, two. Here's one. Poker. All right. That should do it. Let's move. Oh shit! You're it's my wife, my Charles. Wife. You owe me obedience. Leave her alone. We're leaving this crazy island. You are going nowhere. Don't get between me and my wife. <laughs> No. 
Oh. Why should I let you take her away when I could snap your neck? Look at yourself. You can't leave this place. Can't offer her a normal life. Sarah forsook that right when she succumbed to the call. You heard her. No, detective. She is much, much more than a woman. She is the Oracle. <coughs> Sarah has seen things, has made things you can't even begin to imagine. Would you still save her if I told you that she is even more dangerous than I am? Thank you. you. Now, if you only would have done that ten minutes ago. About time. You're welcome. Next chapter. Knew it, I knew it. Wow, that was insane. Hawkins Mansion. We're back here after the death of Colden Pierce, victim of hallucinations, advanced inside the Riverside Institute to the point of discovering Sarah Hawkins alive, prisoner of Dr. Fuller. The last confrontation between Charles Hawkins and his wife has revealed that the man, under the monstrous appearance, tried to protect her from the influence of the myth. He warned Pierce, if Sarah succumbs to law of the occult, she will lose all free will, allowing the court to bring its plan to fruition, summon an ancient and evil god. Henceforth, Pierce must know about Sarah Hawkins' intentions and find a way to protect her. My reading, my reading is getting better. I can tell you. I can tell you this. I was making so many mistakes when I was reading the passages in um, Made of Scare. Hmm. 
No parent should have to bury their child. Knowing it's me that put him there. The guilt, the guilt will never go away. I feel your pain. I'll do anything to get him back. Anything. My work was what lured me here in the first place. She began showing me things. Things I never should have painted. Things Charles should never have seen. What am I to you? Charles was her son? Oh my gosh. I took care of you. Saved you from your miserable life. You'll never find a man better than me. You owe me. I owe you nothing. We'll leave now. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> That's how the fire started. Oh my god, that's how the fire started. Shit. Oh. <laughs> It's over now. Shit. <laughs> We're having nightmares so frequently. back in here now nice so do we keep having nightmares because this happened a long time ago too like we've woken up twice now in this mansion like nothing happened mr pierce oh no we were waiting for you we went to sleep Good. okay okay sarah doesn't have much time what are you doing here did you think I would let you confront the occult without supervision? This is too dangerous for a bookworm like you. Algernon, I need to talk to Mr. Pierce. Very well, Sarah. I will be in Charles Hawkins' office. Sure. Can I sit down, please? What's that? Oh only she gets to sit. she she only she gets to sit down i want to sit down okay i'll just crouch hi you seem different yes yes when i woke up this morning my mind was sharper cleaner i can still hear the voice calling me it is so strong so ancient enticing dangerous I may never be able to escape his grip, but for now, I can keep it at bay. I know what I owe you, Mr. Pierce, but I can't come back to Boston with you. You've been friends for a long time, hiding each other's secrets. I trust him. What are you planning to do? I must find it and kill it. I am the only one who can end its slaughter. No. No, you will come with me to Boston. 
I owe you no obedience. This isn't about what you want or don't want to do. You would risk destroying the world just because you can't face the consequences of your actions. I am willing to atone for my sins. No. You're just trying to erase all proof of the mistakes you've made. I know what I have done. I will not rest until the creature is sent back to its dimension. Hmm. You've recovered from yesterday's condition. That must mean you can fight it. We must find something True. that will stop you from relapsing. Algernon knows of a way to protect me. Help him find what he seeks, and we may all survive this battle. All right. I'll help you. If only I can remember where his office is. There he is. Again. Ah, it's you. I'm here for her, not you. I don't care why you're here. Your usefulness is the only thing that matters. How do we protect Mrs. Hawkins from the influence of the forces that claim her? By following Charles Hawkins. That imbecile of a thief, of course. What do you mean? He found something. An amulet. The symbol engraved on it could protect Sarah. Could? We are dealing with forces that by far surpass what your intellect can process. Feel free to ask me any question regarding the matters that exceed your grasp. Is he calling me stupid? Because I am. <laughs> A dimensional shambler. He sold the daggers to Sanders. We must have. A, he must have a plan. Let's go for the daggers. A strange sign. Was it you who sold it to Francis Sanders? If you are referring to the dagger of the ancients, then yes, it was me. Why? Do you know what he intended to do with it? Francis was primarily a collector of occult objects. He liked rare items such as the dagger. <laughs> But I doubt he knew its purpose. It allowed me to send the creature you call the Shambler back into the painting. Fascinating. But I am afraid that this might only be short-lived. You mean that thing could come back? Yes, that is why I am looking for a more... permanent solution. It must never come back. A genius like you must have already found a way to get rid of this creature, yes? I sense your sarcasm, but it does happen that, yes, I do have a solution. I think I can destroy it, but for that I must approach the creature. And to be able to do so, I need the key to Rie. Another one of your baubles. It is no bauble, unbeliever. It is a very powerful protection. Able to repel very ancient forces. Much more effective than your cult. What does it look like? It is a golden amulet, bearing very ancient inscriptions and an elder sign at its center. A star with an eye in the middle. I've already seen that sign. Where can we find it? Therein lies the problem. That foul thief Charles has hidden it somewhere. I found this drawing among his personal effects. I think that it has something to do with the location of the amulet. I'll follow this lead. You continue searching. That is what I intend to do. As for you, return here the second you find it. I don't want it to disappear again. What the fuck? Find the bust? Find the amulet. How do I find the bust? Is there a way I can go outside?
Was Sarah Hawkins telling the truth? I found the bust. Nice. Okay. Let's uh, go into this. What kind of ritual was she preparing? Hmm. Was the painting of the Shambler displayed here? Mrs. Hawkins never told me why she was in possession of the Necronomicon. How did she survive her encounter with the Shambler? How did she react? Was she afraid? Charles Hawkins was ready to do anything to protect his wife. If the amulet can protect Sarah Hawkins from the influence of the mythos, I must find it. Still life. How the hell do we find still life? And also find the amulet. Isn't this still life? It looks like it. Oh no, the one that's looking. Okay. I respect that it's light now. Feels good to... Uh, never mind. Never mind. As soon as I say that, it goes dark again. Can't see anything in there. I was just here. See if we can go upstairs. Is that? How are you, Bradley? Ah, uh. it's you, Pierce. I'm just worried about Marie. I mean, Doctor Colden. Oh shit! Oh, oh! Um, do I tell him the truth or do I lie? Truth or lie, truth or lie, truth or lie. What shall I do? 
should I lie to him or should I tell him the truth? What do you think, Lola? This is your choice. I mean, yeah, she's dead and he he has a crush on her. Oh, here's the, th I don't know. Sh I choose, honestly, it's better that he finds out from me than I keep it a secret from him. I'm so sorry, Bradley. I could do nothing to save her. What do you mean? What happened? Oh, oh shit. shit. Well, I found her body in the cellars of Riverside. You... You sure that you've got nothing to do with it? If she hadn't tried to help you, she might still be alive. Oh, I'm shit. Sorry. Truly. It's that slug, Fuller. I swear I'll shoot him. What do you say, Pierce? Are you with me? Yes. Yes, 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 please. Yes. It's not for us to decide. Fuller will pay the price. I don't think she would have wanted that. I'm sure Dr. Colden would have wanted you to help fight the cult. Fuller is just a link in the chain. It's their leader that must be tracked down. Marie devoted the last three months fighting against this monster. And it cost her her life. He killed her, Pierce. Don't presume to understand her motivations when you obviously paid no attention to her crew. He looks like Popeye. Just had to pause to say that. We must do something for those who are still alive, Bradley. Sarah is still in danger as long as the cult is active. We need to see this through, otherwise Marie's death will have been in vain. You're, uh, the voice of reason, Pierce. As always. Okay. This game is so, it's like so good at uh, fucking with you. <laughs> is this it? Oh, I found it. Yay. Yay. We did it. This is the amulet that Drake was looking for. Yes. What was that supposed to be? Consult diary. So hold on, can I just buy skill points or something? Oh yeah, I can investigation, psychology. Do we have psychology? This reminds me of a uh, Final Fantasy, where you have to uh, buy a lot of stuff to get stronger and shit like that. There we go. Show the amulet to Drake. Drake? What does Drake sing? Um... What does Drake sing? I can't think of what he sings. God's plan. God's plan. Does he sing that? She says, do you love me? I tell her only partly. I only love my bed and my mom. I'm sorry. Ooh, no, that's thinking of Drake, uh, cause I don't want the hotline blinks, that could only mean one thing, 
I know when the hotline blinks. That means I can sing. Okay, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? This way, isn't it? It's over here. I can't go a stream without singing. It's not me. Can we put the thingy away? Can I blind him? Ah, it's you again. <laughs> Give the amulet. Should I? What, what is the does true this? Nature of the I see that you are interested in my precious book. It is the definitive book of knowledge of the occult, Mr. Pierce. Written by Abdul Alhazred. It is the answer to many a question. That is why it's so highly valued. Yes, and even though it is a copy, given to me as a gift by Professor Armitage of Miskatonic University, the work remains very powerful. I understand better why you keep it in a safe. Give the amulet. Might I as think well. I found what we're looking for. Let me see that. Yes, that's it. It's perfect. We are saved. I must tell Mrs. Hawkins. Yes, do that. I don't trust him. Ever, ever since I left the city, you, you, you. Here you go. Hi, why did you I come here? It. It's a strange amulet. I hope it will protect you. Considering that nothing will help you change your mind. You must understand. I already went too far. What have you seen that's so terrible you convinced yourself that you had to risk so much? I can't tell you now. This story is going to end badly. Yes. Chief West is here with Sullivan. Bradley. You take care of Sarah. I will do the other. You sure? All right. Yes. I mean, your girlfriend did die, so yeah. We uh, we will let you take care of her. I've been hearing about you a lot. About you a lot. I've been hearing about those teeth a lot. Nice job, chief. Nice job, got me. Great police work. You can try to play you smart with me all you want, Pierce. Witnesses have identified you as the one who set fire to Riverside. Witnesses? How convenient. <coughs> That's not the whole That's story. That's not the whole story. Damn it. I don't Damn care about your care stories. About Save them for the judge. Wait, why am I getting arrested? We base our investigation on facts and testimonies. You might want to try that next time. You bet I will. Wow. Chapter 10.